Hi, Tom Freiburg from Water and Wastewater International Magazine coming to you from the show floor here at the Singapore International Water Week. I'm joined by Devish Sharma from Aquatech. Devish, good to see you again. Good to see you, Tom. Thank you. Now, Devish, we've already had a chat about some of the sort of uh, strategic objectives for the company and the markets you're in, the impact of the Arab uprisings and civil unrest in the Middle East. Perhaps you want to now give us uh, some introductions to the company, sort of recent news, and, and how you're developing. Okay, sure, great. Well, uh, Aquatech um, is a company that's very focused, as we say, uh, you saw it in our booth, uh, we're focused on solving the world's water scarcity challenges. And what that means is we are wholly dedicated to advanced water technology for desalination, water reuse, and zero liquid discharge. Uh, it's a, a very exciting market for us because as world water scarcity increases and uh, as GWI says the water risk uh, uh, is increasing, um, the need for these types of technologies uh, is increasing as well. And, and we've dedicated our efforts to solving these uh, challenges. Okay, what about sort of where your office locations and countries you operate out of? Okay, we're headquartered in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in the United States uh, and uh, we have uh, major presences uh, in Europe out of Aquatech BV in the Netherlands, uh, in the Middle East uh, out of um, basically two key locations, uh, Sharjah uh, and also uh, very uh, soon to be uh, in Saudi Arabia, Al Kobar and Damam. Okay. Uh, in India, uh, we've had a presence in India for over 18 years, uh, and also in China, uh, where we're present in Guangzhou, China, and we're focused on the reuse and the zero liquid discharge markets uh, that are up and coming there. So Devish, earlier we heard about uh, how your company's working with the energy industry. Perhaps you can give us more details uh, about this place. Okay, sure. Well, to start with, uh, just you know, the, in the backdrop here, we have a map and we talk about our global commitment to the energy industry. When I say energy, I mean power, refinery, oil and gas, uh, and petrochemical. Uh, and Aquatech, uh, is, we're celebrating our 30th year this year. We started in 1981. And we've always been very strong with uh, solutions for the energy industry. Uh, we've done projects for the energy industry on five continents. And, um, you know, so this just exhibits some of the hotspots for us, um, the Middle East, India, China, and even uh, North America with the Marcellus Shale boom, which I'll be talking about in a second. So if we move along here, um, <clears throat> you know, this uh, talks a little bit about our thermal desalination technology and an application in the Middle East uh, for Aramco's uh, Rabic refinery, uh, where we came in. And it's actually the first industrial BOT project in Saudi Arabia, uh, where we have uh, multiple effect distillation uh, providing uh, Aramco on a uh, water by the gallon basis. Okay. okay. Uh, if you move over here, uh, one of the most exciting um, uh, aspects uh, and, and markets for Aquatech that is emerging is right in our own backyard in, in, in western Pennsylvania, which is the Marcella Shale boom. I think a lot has been talked about Marcella Shale and the water issues. Uh, just uh, to give you a, a very quick uh, overview of that is um, Basically, the process of extracting the gas uh, from Marcella shale rock involves fracking, where you inject water about a mile deep where the, where the shale rock is. Very high and, pressure. Yeah. yeah, at a very high pressure. So you have, basically, you have water issues associated with taking fresh water and using it for fracking. But even more so, you have flowback, which comes up. And uh, that's um, a, a severe wastewater issue. Uh, and with environmental regulation in the United States, it's. Uh, um, uh, it's a very tough challenge. Uh, Aquatech's very committed to this industry and, and what, what I like is the creativity that Aquatech engineers have used to, to come up with solutions for this industry because you know we're traditionally a company that's more involved with kind of um, stable projects in one location but the nature of this industry is the wells keep getting drilled as the gas comes up so everything has to be mobile. And an example of this is MOVAP, uh, Aquatex Mobile Evaporators. We've taken our, um, you know, kind of our land-based evaporation technology and we've applied it and put it on wheels and, and made a mobile unit called MOVAP, which can go to the sites and drastically reduce the water that's trucked off of the site. So this is just an example of kind of uh, a different, unique solution uh, tailored for our market. 